In this video, we'll learn how to create a color flow region using the area data from our area plan. All right, so let's take this information and let's create a nice graphic with it just to make this plan easier to read. Before we do that, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping though. So let's get rid of anything in our view that we really don't need anymore. So I want to hide these elevation markers and I also want to hide some individual things. So I'm going to select the topo or the site graphic that we have here. And I'm going to right click in my space and I'm just going to say hide this element in this view. Really don't need it. Then I'm going to go to my visibility graphics after I change my visual style to a consistent color. I'm going to come to my visibility graphics and I'm going to hide my topography. So let's scroll all the way down until we get to topography. Really don't need to see that. We really only want that in a site view or a site plan view. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect that. Click apply and OK. And then I can hide these model lines if I want to as well. I'll select everything in here because I think there's some model lines below our model. Filter, check none. I only want to check my lines. I'm going to right click in my space and I'm going to hide those in my view as well. And last but not least, let's get rid of these elevation markers. They're starting to really get in the way. And as we work, we can really clean up our project a bit and our views so later on down the line we don't have a lot of cleanup work to do when we're trying to document this alright so I can go to my visibility graphics I can go to my annotation car categories and then what I need to do is scroll down until I see elevations here I can deselect elevations in my elevation cell I'll click apply and OK and now we strictly have the view so we can focus strictly on what's going on with our space we don't have references topo external things all in the way so now we're ready to really create this color fill region here. So before we do that, what we need to do is we need to come to our properties window. And let's scroll down here until we get down to the area called color scheme here. The cell called color scheme. So I can select on none. And what I need to do is I need to tell Revit, hey, we want to set up a color scheme here. So I know it's going to be for rentable area, the one we've been pretty much building from this point forward. I want to know the rentable area and I don't want to do it by area type I want to do it by name I'm gonna say okay so you remember all those names we typed in because we selected name they automatically populate in these cells and we get nice colors automatically generated now I'm happy with these colors this is a pretty nice combination but if I wasn't I can click on this at any time and pick a color and okay and we can customize it where we need to we'll take a look at this so I'm gonna say apply and okay and it automatically created a nice area for us. Pretty neat, right? So now I know that this area here is divided. This is a different area. It has a nice color coding division amongst all my spaces here. So the next step at this point is going to be for us to go back in. And now that we've labeled the spaces, defined their boundaries and all these things, we have a nice color coded system going on. Now we need to create a legend. A color fill legend here so if you go over here to the annotate panel underneath the color fill area we have a couple to work with so this first one here is going to be more for ducts which isn't our profession pipes again more MEP stuff I'm more interested in this color fill legend here so I'm gonna click on it and because we went ahead and set up the stage with all the information color the type of scheme the boundaries the rooms the tags now that we're able to click on that, I'm able to just drag this into my space and like magic, voila, I automatically have a nice legend. So I don't ha only have to rely on this graphic, I have this that will tell me exactly what we're working with. So that's how you can use the color field tool and the color scheme to kind of define the areas or departments within your uh, model here. So in the next clip, I'm going to show you how we can work and define rooms and then take a similar step to create a nice legend for the rooms within our area here. So I'll meet you in the next clip.